Once again. Once again. Okay, once again, I'm Jason Knight, and... I am Nadia Steele. Nadia Steele. And, and we... <laughs> you're <laughs> watching that's Hardcore on, Par on the Hardcore Graveyard. <laughs> See, we haven't we haven't figured out what our lines are supposed to be, or our roles okay. yet, so... Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that, yeah. Great. You just break it. You, you know, you do, you co star you co star with the wrestler, and he just breaks the living room yeah, outside. Yeah, he hit the, he my, hits the coffee table. More like a break my foot, re break it. All right. So in any case, uh, we are going to review a couple more uh, obscure films. Uh, one is horror. One is not. However, certain things that uh, one that it's not horror. That are happening. more like a uh, film are pretty horrible. Yeah, it's almost like a, it's a serial yeah. killer thing. So. Yeah, so they're horrible. Now you'll have to forgive me because my glasses are broken. So I'll yes, probably he, have to. He uh, broke his glasses. Yeah, I'll probably have to. Uh, either and he doesn't want to wear my things. my purple reading glasses. No, you know? not on camera. <laughs> no. Not on camera. Okay, mm -hmm. so the two films that we are going to review is. All right, 1980s, The Grim Reaper, Anthropophagus, also known as uh, Savage Island and The Beast. What he said. Yes, Anthropophagus, uh, meaning flesh eater, you know, suppose, you know, someone that uh, eats human flesh. Mm -hmm. All right, in any case, uh, starring George Eastman, Tisa Farrell, of course, the sister of uh, Mia. Uh, Zora Kirova, a very popular European actress back in the day, and uh, Serena Grandi. She was supposed to be eye candy, I suppose. All right, so uh, Anthropophagus, uh, kind of a uh, you had like mixed feelings about it. You know, oh, no, I had one feeling about one it. Feeling <laughs> about it. Okay. Go, but, um, go, go. Um, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I never like to be mean. Um, it Go. was just not my type of movie. Um, you know, starts off, you know, with people kind of skipping through the streets of, I guess, the Greek Isles, whatever. And um, you can just tell it's like, you know, that classic older movie. They wind up going out on the beach, and yeah, I think they started Athens, a, and then you know, yeah, like, uh, she goes for a yeah. swim, and she comes up across oh, yeah. this boat and um the next thing you know her boyfriend of course who doesn't hear a thing because he's got his you know headphones on mm -hmm. um you know he sees the shadow thinks his girlfriend's coming back but the only thing that came back i think was her head or something like that or yeah, whatever yeah. It was. well you know they uh they did show uh, blood they did show yeah yeah but you know they uh i remember um uh, back in 80 in uh the movie theater when i saw that film and i thought it was great and uh, well, you know, I'll I'll get into the, the reason or the reasons why that myself and others thought that you know the movie was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because you know, I thought the wall was great too, and all my friends were sitting there smoking pot. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's a part of the reason because you know back in the day, uh, you know those movie theaters, pretty much any movie theaters, especially those. Uh, uh, over in Times Square, mm -hmm. you know, they, they didn't care. You know, they walk in with uh, bags, uh, shopping bags full of beer and booze and, you know, uh, even food. And, of course, you know, everybody was rolling a joint and smoking. So, you know, there were no consequences back then, you know. Mm -hmm. In other words, you know, no one was going to say, hey, you know, you can't do that. You know, there's no smoking. I mean, there were cigarette butts and uh, uh, beer, beer bottles and cans, you know all over the place. So, so a seedy movie theater. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, Jason yeah, was were, in seedy movie theaters. Oh, I used to frequent them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Especially mm. Times Square. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's not that kind of show. Uh -huh. However, uh, not yet. You know, that's probably, I know, you know, give it time. Give, give it time. time. Especially yeah. since I was told I could say whatever I want now yeah. because we're not censored. So, Yay. Good time. Next time, I might even have a cooler next time. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> All right. So that's probably, you know, why I found it to be a, a really good movie back then, mm -hmm. you know. Although, you know, now, yeah, I agree with you. you know, the uh, special effects were ridiculous. 
uh, the storyline was great. Storyline wouldn't have been so yeah. so bad. I mean, a, again, you know, the guy goes and beheads the the girl, the girlfriend, um, or should I say, the the, the killer yeah. winds up getting a hold of the girl, comes on the beach. He's only got her head. You never really see the killer at this point, but he kills the boyfriend, and then they go and flash um, flash to a different scene, and that would be. Um, a group of people that meet up with this other girl who yeah, would have been the, the Tisa movie. and um yeah, yeah so they they wind up meeting up with her they all get on this yacht they're all they're all pretty much um going out to this island where I guess she had friends or she whatever friends, she's yeah, supposed they, to you know she they, was they're their, uh, their uh, blind uh, daughter yeah something like that and of course um you know, again, they're all on a yacht. You're getting to know these people. One of them is pregnant, you know, and you know it's her and her husband that are on there, and um, you know, and that's kind of key, you know, a little bit later on in the movie. Um, but you know, they finally they get to this to this um, this Greek Isle. So um, and it's it's deserted. There's nobody there. Mm -hmm. So um, do you want to take it from here, or do you want well, me to keep going? Well, there's no one there because uh, apparently. Um... Uh, one of the, uh, upstanding citizens that, uh, lives on that island with his, uh, wife and child, or should I say, he, well, he still lives on the island, and they don't, uh, because I suppose they had some kind of a, a boating accident, you know, or, uh, their yacht, uh, sank, and they were on a lifeboat yes they were on a lifeboat and he's there this this guy that was the killer when he was normal he was on the lifeboat after his yacht sank and um he's on there with his wife and his son and his son passes away and he takes out a knife and he's going to he decides to eat him yes and he's telling the wife that he's nothing more than meat now the wife gets up to go stop him and when she does he he stabbed her accidentally well he goes crazy and he eats both of them but i guess he liked the taste of human flesh yeah. so he just goes back home um or to this greek isle whatever well, actually it was home because they oh, found yeah. yeah they found um yeah, documentation the one, yeah, that he, he had he's the, the one with that uh big mansion with the big mansion and yeah. he just decides that he likes the taste of people mm -hmm. so um so that's why there are no people on that island. you know when the, uh, this group of people uh uh, come to um, come to visit and drop off Tisa Thero, who is uh, about to babysit uh, for her friends. And obviously the friends are not there, but uh, the girl was hiding where in a wine cellar. Actually, you know, when she stabbed... You know, Something you know, like that. I think yeah. that... You kind of have to... Uh, you'd have to. If you're interested, um, check this movie out, you know, because uh, it is pretty... Uh, uh, I think it's psychologically disturbing, you know, because of the fact that... Uh, oh, you mean when he reaches up inside the pregnant woman and eats her kid? Yeah, he reaches up inside... So the pregnant, pregnant woman and, and he eats her pulls kid. Pulls out the baby the and, and uh, proceeds to... Uh, although they are. The, 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 the thing I liked, and I told Jason this, is that they go down into this cave where the, hu the husband is looking for his wife. He goes down into the cave and he finds all these bodies and body parts and skeletons and everything else. And they're, they've got these little rats that they've enhanced their little red eyes and they're climbing through everything. And I'm laughing because I'm looking at the special effects. Now, last week we talked about Tom Savini and his great special effects. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this and they've, they're supposed to have a corpse there that's half decaying. Yeah, this and, was um, the opposite. Yeah, this was the complete opposite. <laughs> That I'm looking at the one head, and it was a styrofoam head where they look like they just kind of put baloney and everything else on, and you can still see the seam in the styrofoam head. I actually think I have one of them for one of my wigs. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I I did. I have to be honest. I kept on falling asleep during this movie, and he kept waking me up, and I'm like, no, 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 I'm up, I'm up. But um, yeah, I fell asleep. So, um, you know, I, I it it took me a little while to get through the movie, and um, I finally did because he made me it was I, I probably would have turned it off but he made me okay again back in the day <laughs> back in the day there weren't any consequences if we wanted to uh enhance our mood <laughs> <laughs> meaning he was inebriated when he watched it the first time and thought it was the greatest movie in the world and made my ass fall asleep on a couch watching it with him um yeah so, um, yeah, I did fall asleep. Then he wakes me up again, just as they're hitting the climax and, um, they're, they're killing the killer. And, mm -hmm. you know, he, <laughs> he's like, no, 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 watch this. This is great. And he pulls out and eats his own intestines. Yeah. And, um, 
I, I would have thought that it was really gross yeah. if I was just not yeah. laughing so hard at the bad special effects. Yeah, and you know, the uh, interesting part is uh, they took, uh, you know, someone took a pickaxe and hit him, I suppose, uh, either across the stomach or or um, or in the back. I think, you know, I hit him with a pickaxe in the back, and of course the pickaxe comes out through the front. So when he pulls the pickaxe out, I just wonder how, you know, through that kind of like a, that side, that size, uh, you know, uh, hole mm -hmm. in his stomach, all his intestines fell out. Suddenly, yes. you know. I well, maybe know, it was the know. same person who had the idea to put what looked like bologna on a styrofoam head. Could be, could be, <laughs> yeah. And before he dies, of course, it starts eating. Yes, himself. he has to eat himself. So yeah. I would make a really sarcastic, crude comment there, but I'm trying to be a lady, so. Now, I believe they call it auto cannibals. Auto cannibals. Auto cannibals. Yes, they do. I was going to say something, but I'm still trying to be a lady here. So, you know, yeah. Probably yeah. Wouldn't leave the room, right? <laughs> Nobody would leave the room. If anybody knows me, they'd know I'd say it. So whatever. I mean, you 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 gave a show to a wrestler and a and a pinup model, burlesque models. So what do you expect? I mean, yeah, but we're keeping it classy. So move on. Talking about classy, we'll go on to our next movie, which was uh Fear City. Fear City. Mm-hmm. We're keeping it real classy. Okay. Yes. We're keeping it super so classy. classy. Okay. Again, you know, I'm gonna have to manipulate. Now, I agreed to watch this because of one one reason, mm -hmm. and that was Tom Berenger. It was okay. a young Tom Berenger. Yes. yes. Fear City, 1984, starring Tom Berenger, of course, mm -hmm. Melanie Griffith, mm -hmm. Billy D. Williams, Ah, Lando. Yes. Jack Scalia. Uh, or Scalia, Scalia. It doesn't I matter. Scalia. I'm uh, not yeah. sure. I don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's Scalia not like they, it's not Scalia. like they're gonna. It's not like he a... is. He is an awesome actor. He is an awesome. Very, actor. very. Uh, uh, I mean, for this part, he was excellent. You know, very New York, uh, wise guy, Italian slash Sicilian slash both. You know, I don't want to get anyone angry. Uh, mm -hmm. Northern, Southern, it's all Italy, right? Uh, Ray Down Chong. Yes. Uh, uh, Michael V. Gazzo, uh, another classic actor. Uh, Maria Conchita Alonso. Uh, now she, you know. She, I didn't uh, recognize her. Yes. And I know who she yeah. is. Yeah, she had a period. Oh, you know, that was yeah. her. Yeah. That's why she didn't take, you know, go bottomless. But she had a period. Oh. Yeah. You know. And uh, Makes sense. Frank Ronzio. So all great actors. And. Uh, a good storyline because uh, and it really was because you know I mean again back in the eighties New York City I remember it very well um, I because stories. I'm from there and uh, <laughs> you know I had no choice but to frequent Manhattan uh, well later in Manhattan, he had so no choice no choice no I choice mean, was there you know couldn't help it mm -hmm. so and uh, you know actually I. Uh, I recognize that entire. Uh, uh, Did you see that movie? Off Broadway area. Did you see that movie in one of those theaters too? Fear City. That would have been eighty four, I think. You might have, yeah. You know they, yeah. and after watching this movie, I'm sure that they twisted yeah. him by his ear and they just drug him into that movie theater. Mm -hmm. Remember when we were talking about bikinis last week, and you know the girl going into yeah, there was the, a lot of bikini. The, there was no bikinis in this one. There was pasties, but there wasn't bikinis. Yeah, they, uh, well, you know, I mean, they wore bottoms. So now... Uh, <laughs> it's amazing what he winds up seeing on different, <laughs> depending on like the, yeah. Yeah, so apparently Tom Berenger and uh, uh, Jack Scalia, they're, uh, I think, uh, well, they're best friends and partners in an agency uh, that books... Uh, Dancers. There's a talent agency. Talent books, agency. Yeah. Answer or dancers, dancers that's affiliated with the mall. Yeah. So um escort service. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. And, Who knows? Uh, they they really didn't say that. They were supposed to be strippers. And the thing is that uh a lot of the um a lot of the uh the clubs, you know, the mm -hmm. uh, gentlemen gentlemen's clubs that they featured like uh Metropole and you know, there were a few other ones and they were really 
they were the real deal. Mm -hmm. And I think that they, they actually uh, um, filmed inside there because I think I was at Metropole one time with a couple of buttons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. A couple of times I did. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, but, you know, I, I remember because uh, these clubs were there for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think they're there anymore mm -hmm. because after uh, Giuliani uh, became mayor, mm -hmm. He kind of uh, cleaned up Times Square and that entire area mm -hmm. the on Broadway, off Broadway, made it more um, it's pretty much theaters. And, you know, I don't think they have any more of like, those uh, uh, adult movie theaters or uh, I think what they did was they uh, they made these uh, strip clubs move uh, to different areas. New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> <New Jersey. laughs> they put them all in new jersey i can say that i live in jersey yeah i still you know i think you can still find them somewhere you know uh, like by the docks you know somewhere far from you know what they want to call the uh, uh traditional society mm -hmm. you know new york society mm -hmm. but you know and at the same time you know i think that it kind of ruined um the image of new york because uh New York was frequented a lot by uh, um, tourists, visitors mm -hmm. um, from different states. In the, you know, of course, uh, the United States, different parts of the United States, mm -hmm. Canada, and uh, uh, different countries, you know, overseas. And I think that uh, especially the adult tourists that, you mm -hmm. know, wanted to see New York, wanted to see that you know, the Times Square, and, you know, they also 42nd Street and all that, you know, that was, and I think it was a lot, you know, it was pretty much over-exaggerated, you know, although it was pretty seedy, you know, back mm -hmm. in the day, you know, but that's what it was back in the 80s, and that entire area, I mean, it was all, a lot of uh, adult entertainment, so in any case, uh, in the movie, some uh, martial artists, martial artists, um, Slash, I don't know, you know, maybe some no pussy getting motherfucker, you know. Decides, oh, wow. Decides, See, he you know, does swear. You know, every now and again, I mean, you know, because he decides you know, that, uh, he's got something against women and uh, he uh, pretty much cowardly, you know, the way he sneaks up from behind. And, yeah, well, it's a serial killer and, and he starts yeah. going after all of the, uh, when he starts going after different strippers yeah. and, um, He's basically disfiguring them, mutilating yeah. them, and um, some instances they wind up dying. Yeah. Um, Ola Ray, actually... Ola Ray was I, I recognized her right off the bat, yeah. and that was because um, she was in she was in Thriller. Yeah, she was the first one to. Yeah. She actually lived, yeah. but um, not I, the first one. And to I think get. that she's actually the one where he uh, took the scissors, and cut off her. her yes. Yeah. But I remember, so, I, I remember, yeah. it, it dawned on me who she was when she was walking down the street. And I remember, you know, Michael Jackson dancing. She was in Thriller. So, um, you know, Ola Ray. She's actually very, very nice. She was a guest at one of the uh, conventions I worked at. So, yeah. Very nice woman. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, you know, uh, I think they they kept the uh, storyline going. And, of course, uh, all different uh, agencies are going to blame one another because, you know, you've got the... Uh, uh, the Italians, and then you know you've got the uh, the Jews. Mm -hmm. You know they they're all blaming one another, and of course uh, you've got uh, Billy B. Williams. He plays the uh, detective. Detective. You, you got know, Tom Berenger. Yeah. Tom Berenger. Yeah. Um, you got Tom Berenger, who was a former boxer who killed somebody in the ring, and yeah. now he runs this one of the agencies with his best friend, and um, yeah. you know his ex lover girlfriend is Melanie Griffith, who happens to be a stripper, and. After all was all was said and done, I was kind of surprised that she could have anything to say about her daughter doing Fifty Shades of Grey. But um, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, she was uh, extremely, uh, uh, extremely pro bikini. In <laughs> this she was freaking naked. <laughs> I mean, she was naked, freaking laying over the side of a stage with her legs up in the air. Yeah. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. I've actually never seen Fifty Shades of Grey. I know that that's really bad, but I mean, coming from a woman's standpoint of view, yeah. I mean, 
anyway, anybody who knows what I do for a living. But, um, you know, yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey, and she complained about that. And, um, mm. you know, um, unless it was just kind of like a mock thing that she, who knows. But um, maybe. maybe it might have been. But, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, yeah, she she had it all out in the open, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, you know, it was uh, one of those uh, typical 1980s, uh, you know, lower budget, but, you know, using a... Uh, Tom Cruise, uh, or not oh, Tom Cruise, well, Tom Berenger. Berenger. I don't even like Tom Cruise, Tom <laughs> Berenger. <laughs> using uh, really, really, uh, really good actors. Using New York City the way that they did. Yeah. You know, it was, uh, I'm not sure uh, how much of that was um, legal, how much of it was illegal, meaning, you know, did they really have permits for <laughs> the, the, some the of the stuff entire, that they did? Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I you know that, uh, you know, some of the past movies mm -hmm. that I watched, I think, uh, including, uh, I can't say Prowler, but uh, Maniac, which at some point I'd like to. Uh, yeah, review. you told me about that one. Yeah, they, uh, they uh, admittedly, they uh, filmed most of it without uh without permits you know and um you know apparently uh they were uh you know including uh a shotgun blast mm -hmm. in the city in new york city it's uh, illegal to uh discharge a firearm and you go under the jail for that gotcha. <laughs> so you know they had to kind of uh so i'm not sure you know like as far as this film, you know, because they showed a lot of uh, New York City and they of did. course, you know, the subway system and all that. So, you know, I'm not really sure you know, how that goes, but it looked very authentic to me, you know, but I know that all the outside scenes, you know, they were, um, they were, um, you know, that was New York. <laughs> it had to have been 90% of that I movie, though, was just nothing but nude women. Yeah. So um, I stayed awake because Tom um, Berenger. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you can tell that I'm kind of a fan. Actually, that's the only, and again, I do conventions. That is the only celebrity I was ever starstruck. I'm sitting next to him and I'm just like, and they're like, why didn't you say hi to him? You know, I was working in the same, in the same group that, you know, he was in. And I'm like, I didn't want to bother the man, you know, um, very, very nice man. But I just, I, it was the only time in my life I've ever been starstruck. So yeah, no. such a crush on him when I was little so and it's so uh um kind of uh well i think it's cool because like when you see him in um uh, the uh the vietnam movie oh platoon platoon, platoon. he was awesome you know, at platoon. He, he's so. awesome but he's so like you know, he like, was such a bad like, he's yeah. a phenomenal actor i actually yeah. one of my like favorite someone you wouldn't <laughs> you would not want to get close to you know, uh, he's so good at it that you know he can actually he can actually pull it off, and it's uh, such an opposite of uh, what he played in Fear City. Because you know, in Fear City, he was, I mean, he was a tough guy and all that. But he kind of like gave it all up after, uh, after he uh, killed, accidentally killed his opponent in the ring. And you know, it's almost like uh, he. I like this character mm -hmm. because, let's well, say, his partner was always like full of piss and vinegar, mm -hmm. you know. And well, come on, let's do this and let's do that. You know, sort of, uh, you know, sort of, sort of very, uh, very out there, mm -hmm. very uh, like they are. You know, uh, in New York, you know, those uh, especially, especially uh, the, the young men that are um, involved in that type of business. You know, they mm -hmm. are full of piss and vinegar Very because much. they can get whatever they want. But yet he played, uh, you know, I like this character, you know, so it was uh, just the opposite, you know, it was very, uh, uh, like, strong silence, mm -hmm. which he proves at the end, because he fights that. Uh, well, he finally, finally, he finally, yeah, he finally, he finally grabs a hold of the guy, and, yeah. um, you know, uh, I could say, I could, well, they, they showed the guy, yeah, martial artist and yeah. everything, he was in there, you know, they show him, you know, working, working out. Working out naked. <laughs> and I told I, I told Jason, I go, who the hell would work out naked? And I get this. I'm like, oh, great. You know, but anyway, so. Um, <laughs> Look, I stole all my old gym, you know, so I could pretty you much see, lock you the out, doors. Oh, you worked out naked in the gym? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
<laughs> no one could see anything, you know? Yeah. It's I mean, just the. I, it, okay. it, it was just, I don't know, you know. Jason worked out naked in the gym. I, I, did, <laughs> I, I did wear sneakers, though, you know, because. I don't need that visual. <laughs> I, I had to because, you know, you never know, you know, what, what can be, you know. Number one, I didn't want to get my feet dirty, okay? Mm-hmm. Number one. Number two, you never know what you might step on. You know, we do this podcast, and if we ever, like, you know, if, if we ever get more popular and watch our... Oh, hold, I don't know you're not going to do the podcast naked. I mean, again, we're not into x-rated here, but... um. And I will still have to wear sneakers, because I don't like walking around barefoot. I really don't. <laughs> you know, if he reopens another gym, it's going to be all these women that are trying to, <laughs> trying to join. Yeah, yeah, Ron. <laughs> <the other one. laughs> he is so modest. I mean, yeah. la- ladies... Do me a favor. Go on his Facebook page. This man is like a vampire. He does not age at all. I mean, it just, he makes me sick. Yeah. So I'm I, sitting there with facial masks and everything else. Yeah. And he just. Yeah, I was dipped in uh, formaldehyde. And actually, my daughter says that he ages like a Greek god. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. So, um, and, and, and here's. Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Loki. I don't know. Loki was, was Loki Greek? We are so off topic right now. Anyway, we'll get back on topic in a second. What took us off topic? Oh, Jason naked in his gym. <laughs> anyway. Oh, boy. I'll be doing a lot of laughing. You know, I can't wait to get a crown. Mm. But in any case. Anyway. <laughs> in other words, hand to hand, you know, I'm not really missing a tooth, you know. See, I was hooked. Why? <laughs> nobody would even know that. Why do you even point out? What you, I don't I mean, know. This man points out every flaw he this, has, but is that what do? So look, he's got a missing tooth over there. And oh he's my god! Out, uh, with some kind of a drug. Sweetie, they that. are not looking at your missing tooth. Women that are watching this right now are feeling like Chase at night was working out naked in his gym. That's yeah. all they're thinking about. Yeah. Well, I was a lot younger. Too, oh, so. would you stop it? Anyway. Anyway. So, case, so yeah. anyway, he winds up fighting the guy at the end, and he wins, and. You know, him and Melanie Griffiths, you know, they, they rekindle their romance and yada, 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 blah, yeah. blah. And I remember, you know, back then it was like, like a typical thing, you know, because, uh, you know, it's not like now where uh, kind of off topic, but not really because it's a boxer versus mm-hmm. uh, a karate expert. Yes. You know, and uh, uh, I don't really, you know, be, because, uh, you know, people love to get into that oh you know karate wins or no boxing wins and i think no it's you know it all has to do with heart and it all mm-hmm. has to do with uh how good you are you know at, at what you do mm-hmm. and uh again heart <laughs> and uh how much vengeance you have you know so you know it, it, it would, you know i remember back then you know people were uh you know leave the movie theater no no the karate guy would win you know boxing this and that well i guess they know nothing about boxing mm-hmm. and they've never maybe they've never they've never encountered a boxer no you know and, uh and i've seen uh plenty of good ones that would uh you know working out over at lisa's gym and, uh, mm-hmm. you know in brooklyn and but they were clothed you know, right they were clothed right they were clothed okay. yeah yeah they were clothed <laughs> you know and they wore boxing gloves too mm-hmm. you know yeah, and they wore mouthpieces as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there you go. That's good. And sometimes even had gear, you know, mm-hmm. like a protector. But they yeah. definitely wore their shoes. Yeah, they wore their shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they wore their shoes. I'm a, I'm a you know, firm believer, you know, even if you're going to get naked, um, wear your shoes. You don't want dirty feet, and you know, you don't want to step on something. God forbid. You never know. And you want to make sure that when you're working out naked, you use the free rate. It's free weights. I don't think that they're, you know, that like the dumbbells. Are, I don't think like, you know, it would be very advisable. To be like them. a pen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, I just stay know. far away. From it. <laughs> 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 kind of like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People. So in, any, so in any case, you know, it was that whole uh, uh, boxer versus a karate expert and you know it was uh you know to me it was just entertaining because uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh good good fight scenes and obviously the guy i i never found out who uh as far as uh, who the actor is what his name is 
And if anyone owns it, I'd love to because I cannot, I couldn't even. Uh, yeah, I don't think we could find. We could actually the, find it when we were pulling it up on the internet. No, no I mean I couldn't. Uh, who the guy was, whether you know, it, 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 it was his uh, one and only shot because uh, he didn't have any uh, lines or anything like that. No, not and really. Even, I mean, well, he was reading because he was writing everything down in a yeah. book called Fear City. Right. So he was kind of like writing his own yeah. book as he's killing these women and how it felt and. You know, um, so he would voice over that. But other than that, I think I, I tried looking on the Internet, but I, I will, in all fairness, um, I started looking up and researching like the actors names and everything just after I found out that, you know, my co-host used to work out naked in his gym. So I, it just kind of like, you know, <laughs> your, your mind's like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you know, it does uh... go into hell. You know, I mean, it does create a visual, but you know, mm -hmm. sometimes we like to be comfortable and uh, try different things. With so, their sneakers on. Yeah, with sneakers on. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, I advise strong sneakers. Yeah. So, um, and with socks. With yeah. socks, too? Yeah, but, uh, you know, I don't pull them up higher. Okay. That kind of, you know. No other safety gear? Like, you're all good with everything else? No. No, okay. No. You know. I'll probably wear a ball cap. You know, yeah, I, I had wore a ball cap. And let's see, uh, I might have uh, at some point shoot a gun, you know. But shoot a gun? About it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that, it's well, thank God that, that, thank God that there wasn't windows in the gym. There were, but there were, you know, covered. There was nothing. There was no way. There was no way. I mean, I already went all around and, you know, tried. There so, ladies. Nothing. You, you, you do realize that if you open yeah. another gym, you see women with ladders. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, Angel's going to watch this. She's going to land Maybe her she's... ass. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So I don't know how much time. We actually tried to keep it a little bit shorter this time. Than... shorter because we don't want to. We don't want to bore you. Yeah. We hope that this, really... we hope you had more fun on this episode than the last one. The last one was our first episode. So it's yeah. kind of a. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, this is our second. Yes. Now, I think when we get to like our fifth or sixth, you know, we're already talking about making people in gyms. So, because they just told me they could give me a little bit more leeway, but when they no, tell you, they tell me, questions. they just told me, um, they just told me, what was it, two minutes before we started airing that I could pretty much, you know, that this show is not for children and that, um, you know, we could, we could say what we wanted to say. And, uh, you know, that's probably the wrong thing to tell me because, um, I just am who I am. <laughs> Either love me or hate me. So um, you can't love me or hate me. Um, there's a big long list on either side. So, um, but yeah, I think it's on like our, probably our fifth or sixth show. Um, we're, we are actually going to be at New Jersey Horror. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of great actors from great movies that are there. So uh, we're coming up with a, basically almost like a crossover thing, I think with um because angel's going to be there as well angel amoroso mm -hmm. uh, who is absolutely awesome that is my girl and um you know jason is going to have to deal with both of us all weekend <laughs> that should be fun so um you know uh, in atlantic <laughs> city <laughs> i think i think uh yeah uh, um oh my god you know because uh i think she would laugh because uh <laughs> She's gonna laugh at there's a lot she could laugh at at this broadcast, but yeah. I think I think she'll laugh because uh one time uh uh we were hanging out somewhere, this is like years ago, and she's like, What in the world is that? You know, like what are you watching? And it was a movie called uh Night of the Lepus. Yeah. Uh, these uh giant rabbits. Uh -huh. For some reason, you know, they were like gigantic about as big as horses. Uh-huh. You know, and they were uh they were like eating people. Okay. You know, and, <laughs> and, and she's looking at me, you know, and saying, what, 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 what are you watching? You know, I said, he's like, well, what is this? You know, are those rabbits? I said, yeah, you mm -hmm. know, they're giant rabbits, you know. She couldn't believe she was like, what's wrong with you? She was like, what's wrong with you? Those are rabbits. Rabbits don't eat people. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, well, they grew up, you know, they grew to be gigantic. You know, and actually, you know, I, I do like that movie. Very hard to find. Night of Lepus, you know, these giant rabbits. That means he's going to make people. me sit through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> and it was funny because you know and then you know i started uh naming all these movies and everything and then mm -hmm. i then i started <laughs> you just cracked yourself up <laughs> and i said yeah you know there you know there's there's a movie called uh, grizzly <laughs> and it's about a bear uh there's a movie called uh Claws, it's about a bear. There's obviously there's jaws, and it's a shark, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and I said, you know, there are a lot of um do you, you, you know, do realize though that Jaws, like my daughter told me, my yeah. my daughter's a huge Jaws fan, and she says, Mom, she says she's 16, and um she's a smart ass. I don't know where she gets it from. I have absolutely no clue where she gets this from. Um, but she looks at me and she goes, You know, Jaws, if you play it backwards, is really a heartwarming story about a shark that gives limbs to disabled people. Yeah. She says he's, he's really quite kind. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. A special child. <laughs> she is a special <laughs> child. Just as bad as my other daughter that looks at him. Tell him, they tell him the other day, she's like, um, Jason, can I ask you a question? And all of a sudden the gears start like, you know, you, you could tell he's like, okay, you, you, okay. And she goes, what blood type are you? What's your blood type? What's your blood type? And I'm like, why would you ask him what his blood type was? She says, well, you told me to watch his his videos for, you know, for the ACW for Assault Championship Wrestling, which, by the way, I'm going to give a shout out to that because he is opening that back up. Um, but she was looking at the videos and she's like, what was wrong with those people? She says, they were always so bloody. I said, did you see any of the ECW stuff? And she's going, yeah. She goes, why were they so bloody? She's going, you just, you need to know his blood type. Just, that's all I can say. He needs to figure out what his blood type is. I'm like, so then she's, he'd gotten some sort of cut or whatever. That's what brought it all on. And she's running around with one box of band-aids and the other hand, she's got like Brock's. I'm like, great. I can't bring her to your matches. She'll be standing at the edge of the ring with band-aids of Brock's for the rest of the rest, for the rest of the wrestlers. So, um, but yeah, we're yeah. so off topic at this point, yeah. but uh, what we were going, where we were going with, with this originally was, um, when we get to New Jersey Horror, a lot of great actors, a lot of great movies. So we're going to try to collaborate something and bring you something really special for that episode. So it will not be filmed from the living room. It will actually be filmed from the Showboat Casino. Mm. Oh, actually, it's not a casino anymore. It's the Showboat Hotel. So, um, you know, and again, and again, big shout out to uh, New Jersey Horror because that is my home base and that is my family. So, um, you know, it's going to be a good time. And Jason is actually going to be signing there, too. So... Yeah, that will be in Atlantic City. That. Yeah, that will be in Atlantic City at the end of March. Um, actually, be, actually, March is a really, really busy month for you because you have, yeah, yeah you are actually in, um, he is in Queens, New York next weekend. Uh, the following weekend, he will be in Philadelphia at the old ECW Arena for Icons. And then you will be at New Jersey Horror. So every weekend, um, there is something that he has planned. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking for, uh, you're I'm looking to actually, that, yeah. You know, because, uh, you know, I, I hate it. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not, not just, being busy. Just yeah, not being busy. Because he's just coming out of retirement after 10 years. So, um, but yeah, a lot of great stuff. No, that I'm, I'm just coming out of, a, from underneath the rock after, after 10 or more years. Yeah. You know, it wasn't really a retirement. It just happened you know i didn't want it yeah to that life day. happens but yeah so, it does he's yeah. got great things on the horizon and yeah. um you can always find us um nadia Steele on my facebook page and um jason knight and uh we've actually had a couple problems with people impersonating him which i tell him you know uh that's actually a that's actually kind of a good thing because you know he's that popular he's that important but um some of them are you know, a little crazy. Yeah. So yeah. So the one that is his uh, his um, profile will be the one with the. Uh, there's an actual live one there. You'll see him on there, and he will be welcoming you to his Facebook page. So um, it's the one where I say, "Hey, this, this is really Jason Knight. Uh, this is really Jason Knight. <laughs> this is really so. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So it's you know until then, um, you know, as you can see, he is alive, well, doing great, and um, you know, future is bright. So. Um, we will see you guys next Thursday when uh, I don't think he actually comes up with the itinerary. I'm not sure what we're going to be reviewing next week. Hmm. Um, I know that we have maybe something supernatural. Sounds like a plan. You know, maybe like deadly blessings and we got to get an exorcism in there. Hmm. We got to get some, not the exorcist. Everybody's seen the exorcist. We got to get like an exorcism in there somewhere. Some obscure exorcism movie that was yeah. maybe done after The Exorcist, but you know. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so they, maybe they, we'll, you know, we'll try yeah, to find one. Yeah, of them. I have something in mind. Yeah, it was actually it was actually pretty good. It was actually a foreign film. Okay. I forgot, you know, I'm not sure if it's uh, Lucha Fulci or uh, I'd have to, you know, because they're also um, like a lot of those um, European films, especially Italian, uh, uh, Giallo, mm -hmm. meaning yellow, because mm -hmm. that's uh, the color of fear. Mm -hmm. So the Giallo uh, movies or like you know i think a lot of those uh writers and directors were extremely competitive mm -hmm. you know so um you know you still have great ones like fulci and um gosh you know i, I can't i'm gonna have to start uh either um memorizing or you know because it's like if you can wake me up any morning you know uh who are they i'll tell you straight out but now it's almost like I'm frozen in front of the camera, you know. But in any case, you unless know, he's in yeah. his middle, yeah. 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 only wearing sneakers. Unless he's only wearing sneakers, yeah. then you know yeah. he's, he's good to go. And a ball cap. And a ball cap. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, yeah, you know, yeah. There are uh, there are actually several films that were made, uh, kind of um, should I say, you, you know. Uh, Either pay pay homage or uh, to try to rip off uh, The Exorcist, and you know, uh, obviously Exorcist was great, mm -hmm. but uh, some of these films, you know, that uh, followed up, obviously some were absolutely horrible because exactly, you know, yeah, some of them were awful. They, yeah, they, they they attempted to do something which was uh, um, untouchable. I'm and, very curious how they're yeah, going to do this and, uh, this sequel oh, to The Exorcist. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. You know, I'm, I'm curious too because uh, anything uh, other than after uh, Exorcist, I didn't really uh, care for. You know, the heretic with those bugs or whatever. And the heretic was number three, I think. I think the something like one. that. Every time yeah. you say heretic, I start thinking of that other one with that that yeah. kid with the click 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 and scare the hell out of me. I just I didn't, didn't, you know, yeah. Yeah, that it just wasn't that wasn't a good. It was kind of like that last Halloween, you know. That, uh, it it just didn't didn't. Uh, Do you know I got that ends poster up on my wall? I have tried to get rid of it since the day I got it, um, because I bought it before the movie came out, and I have it signed by James Jude Courtney, and actually it's signed by Nick Castle. Yeah, it's COA and everything. Uh, nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. You know, but uh, that should have just been the Corey Cunningham story. Yeah. So that's, but, yeah. again, that's just a different day. So, But as far as, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, uh, or should I say, well, maybe not a lot, but some, some of the films that they did follow up, mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, the, the Europeans are known to push the envelope, you know, because uh, out there, you know, we're, we're a lot less, uh, a lot less censored, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, a lot more free to express ourselves. <laughs> so, yeah, we are. So, <laughs> you know where my mind just went. <laughs> so, so, you know, going to hell. So, so some of their, some of their uh, supernatural themes are, you know, really, really mm -hmm. good. So, yeah, I like some of those Japanese ones are actually uh Japanese actually really, really, really know, good. And a lot of the Hindi. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they I've I've seen you know some of the Hindi films that are you know great storylines and always a always a big twist in the ending, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like a shocker. So, you know, I hope that we're going to be around for a while that you know we don't uh, keep on boring these uh, viewers. Because uh, that's not what we want to do, and hopefully we just talked about better. you naked in your gym with yeah. your tennis shoes and your right. baseball cap. I don't think yeah. we're boring viewers. No. Okay, okay. You know, if that's entertaining. You know, we can um, maybe uh, next time I'll streak or something. <laughs> 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 I'll streak across the camera. <laughs> Why you want to streak? Me? Yeah. I have an OnlyFans page, so everybody see my boobs. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess I'll uh, maybe I'll. 
<laughs> like my own old page. <laughs> that or we had to find some uh, some 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 print ads of you from from a while back, but you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um yeah, there's been many women on a mission for that one. So um also no one as you're getting old. <laughs> did you did, 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 had it old even come into that? <laughs> Prints from way back when. I did know? print ads. I did <laughs> from, way, from way, way back, back when. when. <laughs> you know, I'm like, how, how far back? <laughs> about as far back as when 20, you worked for 30 years. <laughs> about as far back as when he worked for Chippendale. So. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Cocktail waiter. Mm -hmm. Cocktail waiter. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it, was, it was a living. It was a living. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Cocktail waiter because you know they, uh, you know they. Because they just hire anybody to be a cocktail waiter for yeah. Chippendale. Every time I hear Chippendale, though, you know, I, I know we are running out of time and we are so off topic. But every time I hear Chippendale, I think of Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley, and that is the only thing I can relate Chippendale to yeah. anymore. It has ruined it for me. And Chippendale's before that was called Magique. It was like a popular thing. Anyone from Queens or you know, Jersey or that. Well, tonight we're going to Magique. Magique. Oh my and, you know, God. Us New Yorkers, we called it Tragique. <laughs> wow. Like, you know, so, every, every Travolta wannabe, you know, went to Magique. Oh my God. So we were all like doing this. Oh, you know? well, oh, they were doing a whole bunch of, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, and after Chippendales, it was, uh, I believe, you know, Dangerfields. Dangerfields. Mm -hmm. Now, I would think of Rodney Dangerfield at that point. Is that who, who mm -hmm. was it? Oh, really? Yeah, Dangerfields. You know, had, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I think they were only open like on weekends mm -hmm. because they had, uh, you know, that's where, uh, that's where a lot of the uh, great comedians like, uh, uh, well, back in the day, like Stephen Wright and uh, even a uh, 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 crazy one that likes to, uh, that, uh, you know, unfortunately got killed uh, in a Corvette. Kinnerman? Was it? No, Sam Kinnison. Sam Kinnison. Sam Kinnison. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, know, he, you know, he was uh, he was there and a whole bunch of other uh, comedians that, uh, that actually made it went through danger fields. So, oh, I'd never heard of that. Yeah. But then again, you know, I'm a little bit more youthful. Yeah, yeah slightly more. So, all right, in any case. Anyway. I think that uh, I th should about. Yeah, I think we'll about things. wrap it up from our living room. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, again, we look forward to. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. We look forward to, um, to basically, I guess maybe we should just like when we do this, like take the phones off the hook and everything like yeah. that. But we just, no, we, we, we. Don't do that. So anyway. Yeah, we're trying to stay au natural. Au natural. Magique. <laughs> <laughs> Which was actually a tragic. Tragic. Okay, so what does tragic mean? Tragic. 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 You know, are you kidding me? It was, it was, yeah. You know, it was just one of those wannabe places, you know, where, you know, you looking at me, you talking to me. Tragic. Uh, Want to really take it outside? That. So, um, so yeah, so I guess goodbye from our living room until next week because we pretty much reviewed both movies yes. and then we went off on a, on a, yeah. on a, off the rails, off track. And, um, yeah, yeah just be prepared. That's going to happen and you never know what's going to happen. What's going to come out of either one of our mouths because, um, yeah, just so anyway. I'll have my cooler next to me next time, you know, so I'll be a little, I might even be a little more, uh, a little more creative, a little more uh, creative more, enough that we're going to wind up getting a workout. A little more loose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's actually training me at the gym. So now that's all I can think about. You know, as he's training me at the gym, because I'll, I'll do a set, then he'll do a set, and then you know, just uh, it's just in the back of my mind. And ladies, you can't tell me that you're not thinking it too. So, <laughs> so anyway. Good night. Good night. And uh, God bless. Till next time. This is Nadia Steele. And, it's, it's and Jason Knight. It's absolutely <laughs> magical. <laughs> we'll Good night, guys. Good night.